By this point in the week, I'd used my five pairs of underwear and socks that I packed for moving to a new city because I'm really intelligent. So it was time to go to the laundromat. Now, like cooking, it turns out doing laundry was something I'd never actually thought about in my life until that point. I knew how to use the washing machine in my family house, but a laundromat is a thing. It's like a very specific social thing with its own rules and etiquettes and big scary laundry machines that are coin operated and have all kinds of buttons and timers and weird crap. It was an hour wait to use one of the machines and then they took an hour to actually clean your clothes and just when I got to the front of the line some guy yanked open the one next to me, pulled out someone else's clothes and then put his laundry in the machine using the time that he didn't pay for and as if that was wasn't bad enough, then some weirdo walked past the clothes pile on the floor, picked up a single sock and walked away with it. If the thought of someone chucking your laundry on the floor when you're not there isn't bad enough, I don't want to know what that other guy was planning to do with that sock, okay? He just had one of those faces, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not shaming. I'm just saying. So I was like, nah mate, put all of my clothes in a suitcase and got a taxi to the other side of the city where Phil's apartment was and used his washing machine for the whole year. Yeah, the laundromat, the laundromat is true. Phil was nice to let use his washing machine. I didn't ask, I literally <coughs> ordered a cab, got, went across the city, just knocked on Phil's door with a suitcase and he was like, have you like dropped out? Are you moving in or like, what the hell's happening? Like, you, I could have been doing anything. Like what's happening? And I was just like, I've had a day and I'm going to wash my socks in your washing.